In this video, we're going to talk about how to customize the block pages on a Palo Alto firewall. We're specifically going to be looking at the application block page, but the same process works with other, other pages as well. So in a prior video, we configured application block pages to give us a little bit of warning and a little bit more description as far as why sites weren't working. Specifically, if we went to maps.google.com, uh, we see that we get a page that says the application is blocked. This is very helpful, but maybe we could be a little bit more descriptive for our end users. And that's where customizing these pages comes in. To customize these in the firewall, let's go ahead and go to our device tab. And then on the left hand side, click on response pages. Now we've specifically gone ahead and enabled our application block page. On the left column here, however, we can actually click on the name application block page and it pops up this little window here and we can see that there is, if we check the box, we can choose export. So we can go ahead and we can download the application block page that's already there. Uh, at this point, it's just a text file. We can open it up. This It's in my downloads folder and I can see, well, okay, it's a text file, but it's actually HTML. Uh, we can see the title of the application page. Uh, down here is the header, which is this right here, the application blocked. Oops. Uh, access to the application you're using is blocked, and we can see that right there. And then the username and the app ID. So we could go ahead and make this a little bit more descriptive. So for instance, instead of application blocked, maybe we say um, against uh, acceptable use policy. And we could continue to go into this, let's see, in accordance with acceptable use policy. And we can be more descriptive. I'm just gonna make a few small changes just to be able to show that we are actually doing something. Let's see, add a break in there as well. So I went ahead and I edited this HTML file. It's a text file, but with HTML content. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then back on the firewall, save and close. Uh, in the firewall, back on the application block page, I'm gonna choose the import button. Import, I'm gonna choose and browse to the file that I just edited. So it's in my downloads folder, application block page. That's the one I just edited and upload. Destination is shared. If you have multiple virtual routers or virtual environments in your firewall, you would have different destinations. Uh, right now I only have the one, so it's going to shared. I'm gonna say okay, it uploaded, close, and commit. So there's the predefined and then the shared. Basically, if anything is there, it will use that instead of the predefined version. If there's no configuration that you've uploaded, it will use the predefined, otherwise it uses whatever you've uploaded. So close, and now if we go back to our application block page here and we refresh this, we see that the content has changed. So very easy to be able to edit the content there. It takes maybe a little bit of knowledge about HTML, um, but not too much. There are some restrictions as far as what you can do in here with regards to how much content you could put in, what kind of links or dynamic content you could include, but at least it allows you to customize the pages to be a little bit more user friendly to your end users and a little bit more descriptive to their needs.